You are now tuned in to Boxing Blah 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 Where we blah 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 about everything boxing In this episode Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao versus Errol the Truth Spence Jr. Let's go, let's go, let's go Plus, Deontay Wilder playing spoiler in the heavyweight division Getting that rematch Plus, Josh Taylor pound for pound list too soon? Let's go! <laughs> you have now tuned in to Boxing Blah, 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 where we blah, blah, blah about everything boxing. All right, Tay, you see that ugly ass Raiders shirt down there? <laughs> we'll be discussing now. <laughs> How that man from Atlanta with all that Oakland stuff on? We'll discuss Hold that. Hold on, let me show mine. Thank hey, you, Terry. Please. Thank you very much, sir. Thank no, you sir. for representing Atlanta. Everybody no. here from Atlanta. At least we got some Atlanta representation over there. And uh, we ain't going to talk about that Dodger bull****. But. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but you yeah. Um, all right. So we had a very, 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 very important fight last night. That happened to be great. Uh, I mean, undisputed uh, it was for the undisputed championship for 140. Last person to have that was Terrence Bud Crawford. Yes, and uh, you had one guy had two belts, and his best fighter, uh, his best accomplishment was beating Maurice Hooker. And that was the pressure cooker Mexican warrior Jose Ramirez. And then you had the other guy, Josh Taylor, whose most impressive, vic- the most impressive victory was against uh, Regis Progre. And, and and really shocked the world when he beat Regis Progray. So he came in with two belts. And so that was like, well, who's going to be the king of 140? It was Go a, Josh. Man, it was a, you said what? Go Josh Taylor. Oh, yeah, Josh Taylor wow. did the same, man. Because Jose Ramirez started off like, oh, we about to go on ahead and make this pressure bust pipes. No, and, sir. Uh, the first two rounds, I was like, oh, it's not going to even be close. It's going to be a wipeout. Because it That's seemed right. like Ramirez was just really getting to Josh in the first two, I'm going to say first two and a half rounds. Yeah, and yeah. Josh found a quick little step back counter, and then that just started working. He started hitting that clean. <laughs> Terry hey, worked on that a few times where it's like we, a yeah. step back, step back, faint step back, catch him on the, on the way in. Right. Hey, Josh man. started landing that, and he started finding his rhythm, started rotating him a little bit, started finding his rhythm. And uh, next thing you know, it was a great boxing exhibition put on by Josh Taylor, in my opinion. Uh, you I tell you, fight too, BB? it would have been good to see Ramirez win. And it, it, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm being honest because it would have been good to see Robert Garcia have one of the biggest wins or, 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 or victories as a trainer. I, I was hoping for that. Agreed. But that down inside, I saw, I saw Taylor, man, and I said, man, this, this dude right here won it. And I think he wanted just a little bit more than Ramirez, man. It would have been good to see Ramirez win, but I know right now he's not ready for that level of competition, man. And and I'm being honest, I don't think Taylor will win, but maybe he'll defend it good, but twice because he really don't have that killer spirit like he should have. But mm. at the same time, but at the same time, he had enough to beat Ramirez for the belts. Now I was going, I was going to ask you, gentlemen, and I said I saw some of it because I had another engagement, but what I saw it was a knockout drag out back and forth i was like wow maybe this ain't gonna last long uh, but what you just said bb can he sustain that's where i don't know he can you know he, he's the champion but can he sustain that on multiple fights and I, and I don't think he has that either i agree with you there all right yeah so, well one thing i did notice with him though like neither one of them gave up it's just taylor had more tools in the tool bag to go try all right, mm. this one not working. Mm, let me try this one. This one not working. Hmm. Let me try this one. This hey, this one is starting to tighten it a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. Let's loosen them up then. All right. Uh, whereas Ramirez was pretty much on Mexican heart. That's that's pretty much what he does. And he kept coming forward, kept coming forward. A few times when Taylor started driving him back, he was still like, I'm coming forward, even though you you tag me. <laughs> and he still just coming mm-hmm. forward with that Mexican heart. Uh, even even in the twelfth round, he was still going for it with that Mexican heart. He just didn't have any other tools, like uh, like you were saying with the, with the trainer. Uh, 
Robert Garcia didn't have him prepared to do anything else but pressure. That's right. And once that pressure started to move, when when Taylor started to get that timing down pat and started to give him angles and all that, Jose just didn't have anything. He didn't have a game plan B. It was just, let me just keep trying to attack right in here. Coming in head first. And, True. Uh, so as far as Taylor being able to defend this championship, I mean, I didn't think he was going to beat Regis Progre. And he beat him. Convincingly. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't mm-hmm. think he was going to beat Jose Ramirez. Beat him convincingly. Uh, yeah, yeah. As far as having a heart, he was getting beat up first two rounds. Yeah, that's true. That's and true. He stuck through it and found a way to make it happen. I got all respect for people who can go through hellfire and still think logically and say, you know what? Let me try this. Let me try that. And then start finding it and then jump on it. He could have easily, mentally, could have just went out of it in the first two rounds. It looked true. bad because I was even seeing some of the other people who was commentating live on YouTube. And it was like, oh, man, I'm about to lose my money. I had put this money on Josh Taylor. Like, it's looking bad, blah, blah. At least I can win if, if Josh Taylor knock him out. I mean, if uh, uh, Ramirez knock him out early. Nah, yeah. it was like, I'm, I'm smart, man. I'm going to stay with it. He's a thinker. <laughs> that fight with Regis Progre. It was a close fight. But he right. was like, his eye was closed shut. I don't know if y'all saw that fight with him and Regis Progre. It was yeah. way worse than that Billy Joe Sanders stuff. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> I mean, right, like, <laughs> right. You, you know did. Not, I was like, <laughs> and so he finished the fight and won that fight against Regis Progre, a fighter who he wasn't supposed to be. Right. Yeah, That's sure. a lot of character. Now, does he have the same weaponry as Terrence Crawford? Because Terrence Crawford is supposed to fight the winner. So I think Terrence Crawford said, "Forget one forty-seven. I'm going back down to one forty, um, and he's supposed to fight the winner. So he wants to be undisputed at one forty again. I guess. I, t- I uh, tell you, man. Uh-huh. Go ahead. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm saying it's so many fighters that he's going to have to fight. That's in that class, that 140 class. Mm-hmm. Man, it's, it's some good fighters in that class, man. And I don't see him holding on. Um, I don't see him holding on. I, I just I just don't. You know, um, he he may do good, mm-hmm. and and I'm not I'm not wishing nothing bad on him. But I like I said, I don't see that killer, man. You got to you got to have that killer in you, man. I so I tell you what. And, and, and I could be wrong, but aren't one of the Charlos close to that weight? No. Neither one? Nope. Well, he in good shape then. Yeah. He, the, light, the, the lighter Charlo is 154. Ramirez he, fighting in 140. Okay. I mean, he, yeah, he, Josh Taylor and Ramirez, they're fighting in 140. He uh, better be after that. <laughs> and so that's why I was saying Terrence Crawford is going back down in weight to go fight them versus going I mean, staying in Welsh Crawford, weight or going up. He'll, he'll beat up on him. You know that. Uh, I know that. Yeah. Uh, but it's just, I can't think of anybody else at 140 who would beat up on him. Because mm. he uh, fought the best of the best at 140 and came out on top. Jose Ramirez was supposed to be that guy at 140. Um, Regis Progre the- was supposed to be that guy at 140. A lot so of you folks don't- think it was going to be Regis Progre and, and Jose Ramirez. Zapita? You don't think Jose Zapita can do it? Man, he barely got through uh, Hank Lundy. No, he did, but he got that was an old Hank. That's an old Hank Lundy too. And, and, and looked shot more. Now, now think about this. He got through. He got through him with the old Hank Lundy, but it's the same way that Tank got through with um, uh, Gamboa, and that was an old Gamboa who was who was who was on a a, a tear of his of his leg, uh, and and Tank barely got through with him, even though Tank did. Tank dominated the fight. Yeah, but, but why did you dominate the fight? You talking about somebody who was at one point one of the top pound for pound fighters in uh uh what's his name that you just called out? Uh yeah, I mean uh what I keep forgetting the name real quick, just like that. Gamboa. Gamboa. Like at one point when Gamboa was at 126, he yeah, was like he, the man, the man at 126. He came right. up. Two weight classes to fight Terrence Crawford in that fight. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and gave Terrence Crawford the business until Terrence Crawford was able to get rid of him. I mean, but you got to look at it. So, we see Hank Lundy never been on that level. Mm. Never been on that level. Okay. Hank, Lo- Hank Lundy has never been a, a considered an A class fighter, maybe a B minus fighter in his heyday. Okay. Okay. Well, well let's. You know what about Robert Easton? 
Uh, Robert Easter. He's that's tall. A good one. He's that's tall. Good. He has long arms. Yeah, right. That's a good one. That's a good one. He has a heart. That's a good mm-hmm. one. I was gonna say him or Mikey. Well, I was gonna say Mikey Garcia. If Mikey, Mikey Garcia go back to one forty, that'll be a great yeah. fight too. Go back to. You know what I mean, Mikey Garcia beat him, man. You know that Mikey Garcia would would would, would tear Josh Taylor head off. Hey, man. man. I want to say that, but his <laughs> trainer is the trainer for Jose Ramirez, his brother. That, and not to- just that. <laughs> hey, not just that. But, <laughs> but Josh Taylor wasn't supposed to beat these other cats. Yeah, but but Josh Taylor. Now I'll tell you this right here. I love if, to see the fight. If Josh I'm not, Taylor, I'm not. I can't. I can't. I can't. PCs on Josh Taylor no more. I've done it too many times, and he's proven me wrong. He's proven you wrong, but if he fight any other fighter last night, had he fought a Robert Easton, had he fought a, a Mikey Garcia, both of those fighters would have beat him. Wow. Both of those fighters would have beat him. That's that's a bold statement, that we be Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. You know what? I'm going to give the edge to Mikey Garcia, but I don't know about Robert Easton. Because Robert Easton, he's tall, long, but he gives up his height too much. And Josh Taylor is a technician, man. Jose Ramirez was the dog dog at 140. Jose Ramirez was the guy at 140. I, I told you when you when we when we talked about this the first time, I told you I said Ramirez, no, because guess what? Somewhere in his fights, he always gets settled. He always get relaxed. I looked at him on YouTube. I looked at a lot of his fights on YouTube. Same, same, same pattern. He mm-hmm. get relaxed. Right. Next time he get popped in the face. Mm-hmm. And he's taking too many shots. Same as thing we was talking about Benavidez. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Same thing. Yeah, same he fight Canelo, fight Canelo. I yeah. guarantee you Canelo knock him out. I agree with you on that, BB. Um, but when you don't have those special quick twitch fighters like that, then that pressure busts a lot of pipes. That's why we like David Benavidez, because he don't care giving up his face. And he's going to stay in your chest, and he's going to give you a million of these things. Jose, Man, that, that's, that, that's just the Mexican style. They don't give up their face. Ramirez, Ramirez can't take the shots that Canelo can take one. He don't give the shots that Canelo Benavidez, can Benavidez, man, Benavidez. No, 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 I'm telling you. No, yeah. ben, Canelo is going to take Benavidez shots. Yeah, yeah, I agree. He, and, but the problem is, can Benavidez take Canelo's shots back? Canelo yeah, broke yeah. his hands. I'm, I'm with you on that. I'm with you on Canelo and so Benavidez. Put Mikey yeah. Garcia into this mix. Gar- so, Mikey Garcia has a heart of a champion, man. This man, I've seen this man punch and get in the ring with 200 pounders and hit them like they was like he was 200 pounds. And he was still at 147 when he did this. So oh, I'm telling you. 140. He was at 140. No. No, when he fought these people, he was sparring for Earl oh, Smith. Oh, sparring for one. Okay, bet. Mm-hmm. He was sparring for Earl Smith. So you're looking at Josh Taylor mm-hmm. getting a hit with a guy who has the power of a Mikey Garcia. I don't see it happening, man. Neither do I see him winning on a person who has the, the, the arm reach of a of a, a, a Robert Easton. Come mm. on. No. Mm. But it see, don't happen. forget, hey, but don't forget Josh Taylor is a tall 142. He's tall. Like you see the, how he out. The, the height difference on him versus Jose, he was about maybe three inches taller than Jose Ramirez. So he ain't no short guy. A fighter's punch can be an advantage, but it can it can be it can be hurtful too because if they don't fight to their height, then guess what? You're reaching down to the smaller man. The smaller man now is punching at chest level or up. He gonna he gonna have a lot of power coming on that punch. True, but you gotta also look at the mentality of the fighters. Robert Easter likes to slug sometimes, and he gives up his height. That's my point. Like when. When he got beat by Mikey Garcia, because he was going to get in the slug fest and gave up his height. And Mikey was able to just kind of sidestep counter, sidestep counter. That's something that Josh Taylor does very, very, very well. And he's coming out of that Tyson Fury camp as well. And they box, man. They box. That's yeah, they, they, they box, box, box. They, they mindset is on boxing, boxing, boxing. And he's just a little bit more explosive. Now, I'm always root. For the American guy, like uh, if they if he had to fight Robert Easter, I'm a root for Robert Easter. I can't say I'm gonna put the money on Robert Easter. <laughs> yeah. So I guess it's safe to say yep. the verdict is still out on Taylor moving forward now that he's champion because there's too many unknowns that we're saying that there are other quality fighters out there that we we don't know can he sustain? Is that what we're saying? 
We, yeah, you know, yeah. And we have a bunch of ifs because he beat right. everybody. He was supposed to. He's undisputed. Like he has all the belts at one forty. Terry Crawford is coming down to fight him. So yeah. no matter what and, everybody say, like you said, somebody got more ice cream cones than somebody else. He got all the ice cream cones. All right. Okay. Yeah, all, all right. right. Yeah, all right. right. It's all right. right here. Uh-huh. I tell you this one one more thing, one more uh-huh. thing, because I don't think he'll beat Tank, but Mario Barreros. Mario I don't Barreros. Think I don't. I, I don't think he'll beat Tank, but if he stay in that weight class, and if Tank stay in that weight class, mm-hmm. Tank gonna see this boy, man. I love. I, was, I love to see Tank fight. Huh? I, yeah, that's that's great. I'm glad you mentioned that, BB, because Tank moving up to 140 to fight Barrios. If Tank on, get man. past Barrios, I would love to see Tank. And Taylor, Come I would on, man. love to see that. And now Taylor got a bigger name, a bigger market now behind him too. Okay. And maybe, maybe, yeah, man. I love that. That's great. It's saying. I it, love that. Love this that. boy got a lot of people in this in this weight class, man. Before you get those belts, you need to think for yourself. Can I go down to one thirty five and probably dominate? But at one forty, man, he has too much competition, and he's not the man to hold on to those belts. Period. Hey, Amen. <laughs> Okay. Okay. All right. Well, well um, I, go ahead, Terry. I was going to say, I know you guys are in a debate, and I agree with both of you on both points, but I got a question for both of you, and I know you're getting ready to go there. You got to explain to me, Wilder Fury, what happened? Okay. I don't want to see that fight. Come on. Let, I All mean, right. All right. come All on. Right. Let's All go. Right. Okay. So, what happened with that? You had um, a trilogy fight that was in the contract. The rematch. The rematch was in the contract. Right. Then COVID hit. Bob Aram tried to pull a slick move. He tried to say, oh, okay, well, time has expired to do our rematch now. So we're going to go ahead and fight Anthony Joshua for the undisputed. Once it, for the undisputed heavyweight champ for all the belts. Right. right. And Wilder was in the back like, nah, I still got my rematch. And we filed for the rematch before the deadline. We couldn't yep. have the fight because it was COVID. Yep. Bob uh, yep. Aaron was like, don't matter. Deadline passed. We ain't had a fight. We fighting Anthony Joshua. It's a bigger yep. fight for Fury to fight Anthony Joshua. Right. Yep. It's for all the belts. And it's a big UK, European audience that want to see it. Uh, both of them have made a little presence in the United States as well. Everybody know who they are. Um, and so Bob Aaron was going for that. I think they both stand to make like around 250 each after all the backside money comes out and all that too. I think they guarantee like a hundred million each or something like that. And then with all that backside money, pay-per-view sales, door sales, all of that, they stand to make around about 250 each probably. Right. And so well, that's well. why Bob Ann was really trying to get that fight next. Uh, whereas if Wilder gets his rematch, then it just slows that process down. Now you're giving chance for Anthony Joshua to get beat again. Chance for fear to get knocked out. Um, <laughs> too much stuff up for chance now. But in Wilder's defense, Wilder's like, no, nah, I feel like you cheated. Yeah. I really feel like you cheated. And I had the belt at first. I gave you an opportunity to get on the stage and you cheated me. And now you're trying to take my belt and my stage and go somewhere else with it. He's like, no, nah, I'm the one who's supposed to be fighting for all the belts against Anthony Joshua. So he said, no, you're not going to overstep me. So they said, let's take this pay, stay for side money. I'm thinking, hmm, get paid twice then, Deontay Wilder. Take the step aside money, get paid yes. 15 million. Then come back, fight the fight, you get paid again. But he doesn't want to give it up the chance. Because if Fury gets beat, then the rematch clause is for no belt. If Anthony Joshua having to luck up and beat Fury, Fury doesn't have a belt now. So now when they do their rematch, it's for no title. But then Kate yeah. Wilder say, I, I want Joshua. You know, he yeah, gets part of it, He wants his redemption. See, he wants his redemption on being cheated. He feels in his heart he got cheated. Okay, so I, I know I'm opening up a Pandora's box. Mm-hmm. The man didn't get cheated. Do y'all think he got cheated? Be honest. I see BB shaking his head. But B, let's be honest. He got beat. He did no. not get cheated. He got cheated. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you this, right? I, I okay. think he got both. Go ahead. They, Deontay Wilder released a video, and I've I've been long said this, man. You got to look at it. He fought Klitschko, right? 
Right after Klitschko fight, they found out that Tyson Fury had taken performance enhancement drugs, right? So they stripped him of all the belts that he had. Belts went all over the place, okay? Everybody, belts was up for grabs, uh, whoever wanted to get them. All right, so he fought another fight, and the referee grabbed his gloves and started to feel. I was like, no, something wrong with your gloves. He called him over to the corner. They felt the gloves. He waved the fight off. He, he disqualified him because he tampered with the gloves, all right? Now, what make you think? that he's going to come in here and fight Deontay Wilder so fairly. It's, it's been evidence. You can see the trainer pulling his glove, pulling his arm, his hand down in the glove. So it's, it's, so it's, it's, it's part ways of the glove. He's hitting Deontay Wilder in the ring. You can see the glove flapping back and forth. I've done a lot of things, and I've seen a lot of contortionists and everything. I've never seen one of them take their wrist and put it on their forearm. That glove was on his, on his forearm. So you tell me how he did that, I'll show you a cheater. So he, he fight this man with bare knuckles. Anybody know that your rap is going, if you wet your rap, anybody know that your rap is going to turn turn it like a cast. So he hit this man with a cast, man. He cheated this man. Deontay Wilder, I was thinking maybe he was going to let it go, but he brought it up and said something about it. Now, let's fast forward to this fight that's coming up. If Deontay Wilder get this fight coming up, He's going to check for gloves. They're going to have an Olympic test because you got to do all this with, with Fury now. Fury has proven that he will cheat on you, you know, and, and I'm not bringing uh, New England Patriots up because that's something different. But Fury has proven <laughs> that he will cheat on you. <laughs> so you have to watch everything that Fury does. <laughs> so my prediction, Deontay knock him out round 10. And see, I see it a little differently. I do think Fury is a cheater, yes. But I also think he's just way better of a boxer than Deontay Wilder. In both fights, Fury won every round except the rounds he got dropped in. And he was winning those rounds until he got dropped. Right. So it's like if you've beaten this guy in every round except for two, except for two in two fights, the first fight went the distance. So that's 10 rounds out of 12. Second fight went how long? Seven rounds, something like that? Right. Somewhere seven, in there? Seven, so, seven. Yeah, so that man won 17 rounds out of uh, 19. And the only time he lost a round was because he took a big one, boom, and got dropped. Well, fuck me. He got back up. Okay. You see what I'm saying? And so I also feel like Deontay Wilder was fishing for excuses, man. I mean, I'm a big Deontay Wilder fan. When he first came out saying what? Oh, well, the body suit that I had on was too heavy when I was walking into the ring and it just drained my leg. Then it was, oh, Mark Breland was on, uh -huh. on Fury's side and he poisoned my water. He put some in my water. Then it, was, then it was, oh, uh, he had an egg in his glove and he hit me with the egg and it cracked my skull. Then it was, oh, he, it, he didn't have an egg in his hand. His gloves was all the way down. You can't have both. You can't have an egg in your fist and have your hand all the way down where the, where the wrist are. You can't have both of them. And say, oh, okay, well, he didn't punch me in my ear. He scratched my ear with his fingers. You see what I'm saying? You can't have an egg in your hand and right, you're scratching right. somebody right here. Now, I believe the scratch. I, I saw his hands down in his glove. I saw him hitting them open-handed. That's to throw your equilibrium off. You slap somebody in their ear, throw the equilibrium off. Is that yeah. true? Yeah. But at the same time, I also try to punch with my hand down in the bottom of a glove, down there about to break my wrist. Put a glove on and try to slide your hand all the way down to where you where you string it up at and throw punches at, at the heavy bag. See how that feel on your hands. See how much power you think you got to knock somebody else out with. It ain't happening. When you see him open up his hand like that in the glove, Muhammad Ali used to do that all the time. He'd be on the rope through the rope door. He had them palms wide open. If you're a heavyweight and you got hands that strong, yeah, you can open it up. I can open up the glove a little bit. I ain't no heavyweight. You see what I'm saying? My hands ain't big like that. If I had hands like that, six, 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 five, six, seven. Weighing 270, yeah, I can open my glove up easy. Muhammad Ali did it all the time. Watch how Muhammad Ali footage did it all the time. 
he'll throw a punch and, and you see it seem like you're slapping across. So that right there is fishing for a reason why I lost so bad. Just fishing for a reason. So if you got 10, 11,000 excuses and they coming from all different corners of the earth, man, pick one. Don't just say all of them. Oh, yeah, this happened, that happened, this happened, that happened, this happened. That. You look lame as all outdoors doing that, man. Just I don't think this, this fight is going to go past four rounds, gentlemen. I don't okay. think it's going to go four rounds. I think we're going to see a knockout again. I'm not a fan of a wow. He's a punch. Mm -hmm. And a puncher cannot take a boxing, I mean, which Fury is. And he will beat him at. But now that he knows his beast point, I don't think it's going to go past four. I, I, I don't, don't think it's going to go past eight. Mm. Uh, but when Fury said it, he said, man, after the first fight, after I got knocked down and I just had to go for broke, he said, I found out Wilder can't fight backwards. And he said it from that point forward. He said, I'm coming to knock out Deontay Wilder. I'm going to send him straight back backwards because he can't fight backwards. He can only fight going forwards. Deontay Wilder cannot fight going backwards. And he proved that. Well, well now let me say the last part of the first fight, and he proved it all in the next fight. He just came right. straight to him. And well, Wilder me, has no footwork to move laterally like that. He can't true. do it. But I tell you what, let me say this. Let me let me let me put in. Mm -hmm. See the first fight. Yeah. Deontay Wilder knocked him down. Mm -hmm. Now, the two counters were off. The judge, the, the, the referee had one count, and the outside counter had reached 14 when the referee had 10. That don't mean nothing. Hold on, hold on. Because the outside round uh, counter, when he went down, boom, one, two, he started counting. From that moment, the referee turns around and tells Deontay Wilder, go back to your corner. He starts to count four seconds later. Four seconds. He took, he had 14 seconds to get up off that mat. The referee gave it to him. So in, in my eyes, in my eyes, if, if, if we were boxing and you had 14 seconds to get up, anybody credible would have said, you out. No. You know why? Because one, the ringside person is just to, Start the count when they say, "Oh no, that was official knockdown." We're gonna start the count for you. This, that, and other. But they're not. That's not the official count. It's the referee's official count. Now, if he had to tell the other guy get back over in a neutral corner because he was celebrating too hard, you got to get a neutral corner. That count doesn't start until he gets back into that neutral corner. That's Deontay Wilder. Right. If you gonna knock the guy down, no, like, ah, oh, boom, squad, boom, and you didn't go to your neutral corner. So now the referee has to take that time away to tell you, get in your neutral corner. You know how animated Deontay Wilder is. Get in your, so now that's more time coming off. Now he gets back to his count on Fury. It's called a count, a 10 count, or a standing eight count. It's not called 10 seconds. Right, right. It's not one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000, five. No, it's a count. And part of what they're doing is getting the ring together. If Deontay Wilder knocked him out and instantly went to the neutral corner and just stayed there, okay, the count could have continued. But if he got to do anything else, no. Nah. Like, oh, it's telling me running out of time already, man. Uh, let's see. We got we got ten minutes. That's cool. Ten minutes. Yeah, we got okay. ten minutes. All right, so, so now we uh, got. Now, what I want to say. Go ahead. Now, now you got you got Dillian White. Uh huh. And what's this guy named? Yuski? Yuska? Uh, what is Usyk. Usyk. Uh -huh. Usyk. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we got we got him fighting uh, Anthony Joshua. Mm -hmm. Tell me how you think that fight going. Uh, I got Anthony Joshua. Because uh, Usyk is coming up from Cruiserweight. And it's just hard to believe that a guy coming up from Cruiserweight who's not Evander Holyfield is going to be able to beat someone who is 6'6". Six, six. 250 who can actually box like he showed you against that second Andy Ruiz fight that I'm not just a slugger I can actually get on my feet and box so okay. if I can get you with my power and he got a lot of power get a lot of power I'm gonna outbox you then I'm just gonna stick and move and keep it going like that and Usyk is very creative very crafty but I don't see that at all Dillian White, uh, Dillian White is in the mix but I don't think Dillian can hang because, 
I mean, what you call it, already knocked Dillian White out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jansen and Joshua already knocked Dillian White out. Right. Yeah. Um, so, mm, I, I got Tyson Fury number one. I got Anthony Joshua number two. I would still like to see Deontay Wilder fight Anthony Joshua to see how that'll come out. But I kind of got a one, two, three like that. Fury, Joshua, then uh, Wilder. Uh, but real quick, some breaking, breaking news. Manny Pacquiao versus Ter- I mean, Errol Spence Jr. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Man, I saw that and I was like, ah! <laughs> and, his, and when Errol Spence posted it, he put hashtag the man down, hashtag uh, uh, Spence Pacquiao, and he also put hashtag flame Bob. Yeah. Terrence yeah. yeah. Crawford, you the one who keeps staying loyal to this dude who keeps who keep yeah. going on. Yeah. Bypassing. Yeah. Bob right. Aram said from the jump, I'm the one who stopped the first Terrence Crawford Pacquiao fight because I didn't want to see Pacquiao get hurt and we were good friends and this, that, and other. They were supposed to have a fight not too long ago. Bob Aram didn't want to pay Manny Pacquiao's fee. Then he said, okay, we got an agreement. The Saudi Arabia is going to do it. Never had the money. Never came forth the money. So it's like, right. then all of a sudden, it's a done deal with PBC and Al Heyman. <laughs> and that man put hashtag blame Bob. You want to keep standing over there? Cool. Sad. That it's man don't believe in you. That man said he done lost money on you. He done told you to go on ahead and go to PBC if you need to. He done said yeah, all man. that stuff. And you're going to be loyal to that? Man, please. Sad, man. But I'm, it's a sad day in boxing when I see two fights. When I see a fight like this, man. It's a sad day in boxing. Because you look at it, man. We're yeah. talking. Manny Pacquiao, man, is done. He would never that. fight a He did not say that. He just beat an undefeated Keith Thurman. Keith and Thurman. Keith Thurman not, he's Keith not Thurman. half a fighter as an Earl Spence. Hey, man. Keith Thurman, it, it, you cannot say that a guy who's 41, 42, beating an undefeated champion who is currently ranked probably one or two in the division before Earl Spence got there, he was number one in the division. Then Errol Spence got there and started making his mark and became the number one guy in there. But Floyd didn't do it. Hold on. Floyd ain't getting in there fighting Errol Spence. Floyd was like, hey, I ain't mess with these young cats no more. He said, I'm doing exhibitions. So Manny Pacquiao is daring to be great again. He can't. He can't. Pacquiao can never be what Floyd Mayweather was, ever. I'm talking about, man, he could die and come back and box again. And he'll never equal up to what Floyd has done. It depends on what you're talking about. Is he better than Floyd? No. But is he greater than Floyd? Hey, man, oh. if, he, if he ends up... <laughs> that man came up from 118. No, 108 or something, something like that, man. Uh, all the way up and still beating folks at 147 right now, man. I mean, I got a lot of respect for Manny Pacquiao. Do I feel like he cheated on a lot of that on the way up? Yes. So I have to drop him down. So I will never put him over Floyd. But, no, no, but that man is daring to be greater than great, man. Isn't this how the old- I mean, I'm just saying, he's how old is Pacquiao now? Pacquiao 40, 41 or 42. And he is about to fight the main killer in the division. For, for what? Man, that man got huge, because he just beat Thurman. He what got is huge he? cojones, man. That man oh, got, he he, got testicles he, on him, bro. Keith Thurman. And I knew he would be Keith Thurman because Keith Thurman, but had Keith Thurman had one round, he would have won that fight. But I will tell you this yeah, right here. That's what I'm saying. Keith Thurman's great. It's not going to be close. This thing is going to be, if he want to punish him, if he feels sorry for him, he'll get him out early. If he want to punish Pacquiao, he'll let him stay 12 rounds and punish him. But mm. I tell you, there was so many other people for Earl Spence to fight. We got about two or three minutes. I'm gonna uh, get Terry in on it too. Go ahead. Yeah, it was so many. It was so many people for him to fight. He... Come on, man. man. Go ahead, Terry. I'm, I'm done, man. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> I, 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 well, first of all, BB, I, I agree with you that you know what? Why many packs? You know, why is it, you know, if the fight should be Crawford and Spence. You know, Manny, he's done. I'm like you, he's done. 
But I, I, I respect what you said, all my that he's willing to take the chance that others are not, you know. But I disagree with you when you said, but he 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 is great, or something you meant in the, the analogy of trying to compare that he has a greatness, and I don't know about that. You know, it's it's a wait and see. That's that's my response to that. Okay, all right, all right. I hear that. Um, I do <laughs> say that if your last fight you beat one of the best people in the division who was undefeated, nobody ever beat him, and you still want to continue to try to be great, I can't blame you for that. Also, I can't okay. blame Errol Spence for going for the fight. That's a legend to put on your resume. Gotcha. It's going to bring you into a much bigger audience. It's going to give you much bigger paydays in the future. Um, and it's some fruit that you feel like you can. it's easy picking for you. I can't blame him for taking that when it's putting you on that big of a stage, giving you that much more money, and give you that much more leverage when you do fight Terrence Crawford. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Now you got all, you got most of the belts. You fought the biggest fights, the biggest legend. Way more people know who you are. And now Terrence Crawford, we fighting 60 40. Say something. Oh, oh, oh. You said when who fight Terrence Crawford? Errol Spence. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, th I thought you were talking about Kenny Pacquiao. Oh, no, 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 no. I, no, no, I can't no, no, see no, that no, happening. No, but don't forget, Terrence Crawford was just trying to fight Manny Pacquiao for the same thing. I right. need a legend under my belt. I need a big name, and I need right. more clout when I go in with negotiations with Errol Spence. That was I'll the whole purpose of doing it. I don't think I don't think Terrence Crawford will ever fight Errol Spence. I it don't think he ever fight him. Yeah, it'll happen. I think Errol. I, mean, I promise you. I promise you. If it happens, man, that would be that would be probably one of the biggest fights. I don't think it ever happens. Yeah, I think it's gonna happen. Too much money to be made, and Errol already put out the, the game plan. I'm gonna try to get all the belts, and then we're gonna unify, and I'm gonna try to fight Pacquiao. He said all this before. He said this. He said, I'm going to try to fight Pacquiao, get that legend under my belt, and I'm going to get all the belts. Then we're going to come together and we're going to fight for all the belts. He said that about two, three years ago. So, but you said, beginning of this broadcast, you said Terrence Crawford is yeah. going back down. Yeah, but he's going to come back up. He just want to get those belts. He ain't got nothing else to do. He's scared to come across the other side. That's why. He got to stay relevant. He don't have no names on his resume. So if he it, fight one of them, he'll at least have a name. Josh Taylor mm -hmm. is not a name. It's a bigger name than he done fought. He, if he go, and if he go down to 140, he got to see Tank. You, Tank can't too, you can't name too many names bigger than Josh Taylor on, on Terrence Cross's resume. That you can't you do. Won't, but, 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 but still, he would have to see Tank. He would have to see Mikey Garcia. That's fine. That lines him up for that. That's cool. Both but he ain't going to stay down like that, man. Both of them will beat Crawford. <laughs> I tell you what. Let's do this again uh, maybe Monday night, like uh, tomorrow or Tuesday or something like that. Let's, let's get back on this. Let's get okay. back on this, all right? Fair enough. All right. So for right now, I am your boy, a -L -L T. We got my man, BBT Star. We got my man, Terry Johnson. And this is boxing, blah, 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 where we blah, blah, blah about everything boxing. And we are signing out. <laughs> <laughs> Ha! <laughs> <laughs> ah.